all right what's up YouTube how the hell are you my name is Tiger Rooster welcome back to the channel and hold on this is pissing me off my camera is not centered much better okay how the hell are you my name is Tiger Rooster welcome back to the channel and today if you remember last episode we did the reacting to the people pronouncing Louisiana names so now we're gonna do the Brits guessing Louisiana slang so I think GB is Great Britain and US United States. So American versus British. The British are gonna be guessing Louisiana slang. <laughs> I think this is gonna be personally very funny because Louisiana slang is very, very strange you know, to say the least. Um, I can't think of any off my head. Oh, off the head. Oh, what what could I say? What's one of them that I can think of? <clears throat> Man. Man, I really can't think of any. But, uh, yeah. So, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna look at it. And then, if this video is too long, too short, I have another video that I want to check out that should be pretty fun. So, we're gonna get into it. Okay, so first off, let's get right into the video straight away. This is, uh, G Great Britain, Brits, guess, Louisiana slang, U.S., American versus British. Um, by Joel and Leah. So this week it's turn to Louisiana. And da, 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 da. Okay, Louisiana slang sent us by one of our viewers. Oof. All right, let's see. Let's get into it. What you got for us, Joel and Leah? Leah. And this week it's Louisiana slang. Yay! Yeah. Okay, so should we kick it off with the first okay. one? Yeah. If anyone's new to this series, it's where we guess slang uh -huh. from around the states yeah. and uh -huh. also we've done some we've done some uk ones we've done some uk ones like yes slang in the yes i don't care oh, right okay they're yeah. heavily influenced by the french yeah so looking at some of these words i'm like we know he's this. given us the phonetics of how to pronounce them so okay. that should help okay. okay right shall i give you the first one yeah, or on. are you giving me all right okay yeah. okay all okay. right first one joel yeah. is lanyap 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 like a thing you I accidentally uh, paused the recording on that one. My bad. Is it unpaused? Are we unpaused? Yeah, you get to see all my stuff. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, line you up. First off, I have to say, in the town that I'm from, or well, that my zip code is in, <laughs> um, I, well, the newspaper in that town is actually called the Line Yop. So I have a feeling that Line Yop, I don't, actually don't know. I've heard a lot about the newspaper. So I've imagined... The line yop is probably like gossip or whatever because it's the newspaper. That's what the newspaper's called. So it's probably like stories and stuff like that. That's my interpretation on it. So let's see what these guys have to say. Lanyap. Lanyap. Is lanyap like a thing you wear? Like, um, I don't know, like a, like a brooch or something? No, it no. sounds like it would be that though. So I'm thinking like lanyard. Yeah. It's not a lanyard. Lanyap. Lanyard. Lan I don't know, lanyap. A type of drink. Is it? Is an alcohol? No. La like, give me a lanyap. No, no. It's not a clothing. It's not. A th it's not a thing. No. It's a. It's a state of being. No. Oh, I'm feeling very lanyap today. Uh, we could say that, but it would be weird. It okay. means a little bit extra. A little I'm bit feeling extra. A little bit extra. A little bit extra. Yeah. yeah you're a bit extra today. Oh, so would you be like, oh, oh, can you give me lanyap? A lanyap. 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 little bit extra. Lanyap. If someone's just you, you like lanyap. I, I was mean, wrong with that I, one. Okay. Yeah. What's lanyap. the next one we have? A little extra. Extra. We should put lanyap. Gives you. See. Thanks for purchasing all the stuff. Here's something on the house. Here's a lanyap. Yeah. Here's a lanyap. The next one. A banyap. A okay. Oh, Here we are. Lanyap. Lanyap. Yeah. Let's well here done. we go. Okay. So the next one, Brad's phonetics has spelt it proline. It's not proline. It's praline. And what a praline is, is it's like pecans, or I'm sorry. Pecans, for those of you who aren't from Louisiana, pecan. It's a pecan. Uh, we have the pecans. We It's like in caramel. We put the pecans in the caramel with like brown sugar. And then it hardens. It really hardens. I'll, I'll show you guys some pictures of them actually. A praline. Um, uh, not videos, images. Yeah, look, you can see right here. It's, um... Oh, this isn't a good, really, picture. Yeah, here you go. This is a good picture. We have, a. Uh, well, they don't look like this. They're, yeah, they're more foggy, like this. So we have the pecans here. And we put those pecans in the caramel. 
And the reason it's so foggy is because of the brown sugar that goes into it. And then you, um, yeah, look. Tablespoons of uns unsalted butter, um, brown sugar, corn syrup, kosher salt. And then you put the uh, pecans in the, in the, uh, wait, there's no pecans? Yes, there has to be pecans. Peanuts. Well, that one's made with peanuts, but usually in Louisiana we make them with pecans. Yeah, see this? Those are pecans. You can see that's a pecan. <laughs> Have I said pecans enough? <laughs> uh, but you put the pecans in the caramel with some brown sugar. I don't know how you harden it. Maybe you freeze it or something, but you harden it, and they they look like this. And they're actually very good. They are really good. If you do it right, they're very, very good. I really like them. But yeah, let's get back to it. Let's see what they think about it. But we would say praline. Praline. Uh, chocolate. It's well, not praline. Yeah, it's, a, it's close. Um, it's like Belgian chocolate, isn't it? Close. No. Well, actually, he says it's a candy patty, whatever yes. that is, that's mostly brown sugar with pecans. So it is like the whole pecan. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you just say pecans? No, not. I I would have accepted pecan. All right, because everybody else says pecan. I would have accepted pecan. I would have preferred pecan. I would of. I would have accepted if I could speak my language. I would have accepted pecan. But pecan. What do you say? Pecans. Pecans. No. No. Pecan is when. You kind of look, you look through the door, and you kind of, kind of lean over, and you're looking at someone. That's peeking. You're peeking at them. You're not, you're not peeking at them. You, you're peeking. Peekins. Get, get this thing out of my face. Oh Can't yeah, I love thing. it, love it. But love we'd it. say praline or praline. Yeah. Or praline. Praline. Yeah, praline. But we wouldn't say praline. Yeah, we praline. don't say praline. It's not anyway, praline. we know that one. Next one for you All is right. making groceries. <laughs> it's funny because it's true people people think we're, this could be one of two things a lot of people think we are retarded because we say i gotta go make some groceries that literally means nothing like what it sounds when we say we gotta go make some groceries uh we're gonna make some groceries it's uh yeah when we say we're making we gotta go make some groceries man Oh, T-Boy, got to go to the store, make some groceries. Uh, what that is, is uh, we're literally just going shopping. If we say we're making groceries, we're going to the store, we're going shopping. Or, it's, um, it's a, uh, hey, Tibido, I'm going to grab the rifle. Grab that gun, Tibido. We're going to hook to the backwood. Go, 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 go hunt some gator in that backwood, eh? That bayou, full of them gator, Tibido. Gotta go get them gator. Hey, hey, aim at that rifle, T boy. And that, that that could be making groceries too. Let's see what this guy said it was. <clears throat> Usually we say it because we're just going shopping and we're very illiterate and we're stupid. Um, making groceries. Mm. What do you think that is? I think it could be slang for like making money. You know when no. people make it rain. Yeah. No, like, you're thinking I'm you're thinking too much into it. It's when you're earning a lot of money. You're thinking too no, much into that's it. That's a really good guess though. Um, is it when you cook loads of food at home? So you, you're making your own groceries. So you no. don't have to go grocery shopping. Yours. Oh, like grow oh, your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's I'm an amazing. Groceries. That's an amazing guess, though. Oh. Well, I don't know. What is it? Um, it's basically just doing a grocery shop. <laughs> grocery shopping yeah. means you're making groceries. Sorry, I just burped. I don't know if they heard that. <laughs> um, it's making... basically just grocery shopping. All oh, right. Okay. So. Just Going shopping for groceries but is you're just making, making groceries. Yeah, Cause I don't know what makes them think that they're making it because yeah. they're just not, they're just buying it. Hey, don't don't sass the Louisiana slang culture. All right, nobody nobody's talking to you, lady. I could I could say stereotypes about the British, but I'm not because I'm nice. Buying groceries. Yeah. Weird. Making Shit. groceries. Quite cool though. Mm. Yeah. And that's making right. groceries. Quite cool. The next one is gris gris. Gris gris. Oh. oh, I've heard this a lot. The gris gris. It's not gris gris. It's gris gris. It's, look at the gris gris in the bottom of the pot. When you're scraping the pot and you have all that stuff at the bottom, it's scrape the gris gris. Get it out. Get that stuff out. And you go throw the slops or all the scrap food. Nobody wants, nobody eats that. It's all, it's going bad or something. 
you scrape it into the bowl and a lot of times after you've scraped all the leftovers into a thing to put in the fridge they'll say, you'll say you gotta scrape you gotta scrape the gri gri into the uh, into the slop bowl so you can go throw it out to the dogs so that the gri gri is to, to us is the stuff at the bottom of the pot Gray. so funny um, yeah. Gris -gris. How? Spelt gris gris, but obviously because it's influenced by French, yes. it's gris gris. G -R -R -S, G -R -R -S. Yes. I didn't look at the meaning. Can't read that quickly. Gris 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 gris. gris, -gris. Oh. See, this is yeah. taking slang videos to the next it's level. Where it's, it's a bit of languagey so yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. Gris -gris. Welcome to Louisiana. We changed the game, okay. baby. Gris gris could mean um, gris -gris. I'm in pain, got backache. Gris gris. <laughs> I'm coming to the doctor, I've got gri gri. No, kind um, of, but no. 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 Okay, so oh, or, or gri gri could mean when you're like really happy. Um, or you're really excited and you're kind of jumping up and down, you, you feel the gri gri. The gri gri. Oh, I'm so gri gri. Or when you haven't seen, you haven't seen a family member for a long time, they come, they come, uh, they come over. It's very, it's very offensive that we associate with feeling with the stuff at the bottom of a pot. <laughs> but yeah, but when you see a family member or you just really excited, it's oh, I'm so gri gri. It's it's could be a feeling. Something wrong with you then? Something? Um, not necessarily. It could be. It could be something wrong with you. It's related. You'll you'll get it when I say. No. Um, nothing. Uh, wrong headache. With you. No. no. Um, go on then. So gri gri is a voodoo curse. So you might say so the <gasps> some brag game, don't mess with that lady. She'll put that gri gri on you. Oh, so I guess it means like heebie jeebies, not heebie jeebies, because like the bad juju. Cooties, yeah. Um, she'll put that bad juju, put, the yeah, gri gri. Yeah, it's a curse on you. Yeah, yeah. she put the gri gri on you. Yeah, that's amazing. That's really cool. I love it. It's like yeah. stranger yeah. things. Yeah, so cool. Gri gri. gri, -gri. Yeah, gris gris. The gris gris. Don't mess with her. Grease, yeah. grease. Grease, grease. <laughs> yeah, I got that all wrong. Video, I'm, I'm probably thinking of different subscribe words. And the notification bell. We post videos right a week. Did you know that? <laughs> if you did, then I love it. Yeah, I wonder if other Americans are like, ah. Oh. I know what this means, or if they're like, Never Louisiana is a weird place. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the second one. I'm from Louisiana, and I read this shit, and I'm like, man, Louisiana is a weird ass place. Yeah, Louis uh, other Amer other places in America have no idea what. We're talking about, but yeah, I'm pretty sure what I said about the other things with the greedy geek was completely wrong because, yes, what they're talking about, yes, it is right. I'm probably thinking of different words, which is uh, the free free, they have the free free, and yeah, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about, but the um, oh, I can't think of it. I, I'm pretty sure the stuff in the bottom of the pot is right, that's the greedy. At the bottom of the pot, or it could also be the, the um. Oh, when you cook the jambalaya stuff at the bottom of the pot, oh, I can't think of the name. Ah, oh, hold on, man, I can't find it. We're just so different. <laughs> Let's see. I cannot find it anywhere, but hold on, I have Cajun family that can easily tell me. Hold on. Yeah, see, we are so different. <laughs> Google doesn't even know the hell it is. The crunchy stuff at the bottom of the jambalaya pot. Cajun jambalaya is called the gratin. It's uh, kind of like it's really hard and crunchy because that part touches the metal, so it's kind of like hard and burnt stuck together. But it's not quite burnt; it's still just hard. So that's the gratin. Um, I'm not even gonna try to search it up because I can't spell that. So I'm just gonna keep going. What do you got for us? <laughs> yeah. Let us know your reactions uh. in the comments. And if anyone knows of Lauren Daigle, she is from Louisiana, then just let her know. Send her this video and just be like... Joel says hi. Joel says hi. You like her, don't you? I love her. Cool. Yeah. Next one, Joel, is Couillon. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! <laughs> That's not how you spell it. <laughs> That's not at all how you spell it. Uh, you spell it like this. Or this is how a lot of us spell it. Couillon. It's a Couillon. And what that is, is a person that is crazy, or cuckoo, or silly, or just out of it. We have a dog named Couillon because she's just crazy. But yeah, it's not spelled like that. It's Couillon, and it's a, like a Couillon. active, really, ADHD person, silly person. So you're hot. Couillon. 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 
<laughs> I'm guessing that's a no. That's so um, no, it's a no. It's funny though because it just it just made Corian. me laugh. Corian. Um, I literally see we're just shooting in the dark here because yeah. I have no idea what it means. Corian. Um, Corian. You Corian. It means you're like like puta, like bitch. Oh my gosh. Hey. Whoa no. now. Whoa now. We're trying to keep this family friendly. Whoa. Whoa now. And no, that's a putain. A fake putain. In Cajun French, fit putain means son of a bitch. <laughs> also, a la mad means the shit or full of shit. <laughs> That's a little bit of Cajun. Cajun French for you. En franc. Cajun um, franc. Couillon. Go, all that. Yeah. Couillon. I'll fake your fake. You dummy, you You're fool. You're a dummy. Is yeah, that it? Couillon. Couillon. Yes, you're right. It's a person that's crazy or whatever, but it's not boo like Patrick Starr. He's not a couillon. He's just an idiot. You know a couillon? Jim Varney was a couillon. Robin Williams was a couillon. The kind of crazy personality, jump around, funny, silly personality. That's a couillon. The Patrick Starr is not a couillon. Couillon. That's oh, cool. you stupid Korean. You stupid Korean. <laughs> that's, that's us using Louisiana slang with a um, Cockney accent. Yeah. Oh, you Korean. stupid Korean. Also, for those of you, we get lots of comments being like, why do Brits use an F when instead of TH? Like when I just said thick instead of thick. That's because that's We're our joking. version of thick. Like thick people would say it. Thick. thick. I don't so care. That's an answer to your question. Do you get that? Okay. Yeah, lots of people are just like, oh, why do why do is a phrase? So you could say save the groceries or save the groceries. That's not even slang. Like I bet you, ninety percent of the people watching this just already know what it is. Save the groceries. That is, you got home from the store, you backed the car up into the carport of the garage, you went down to the trunk, you popped it open, you grabbed. Oh, uh, you grabbed the bags, you brought them in the house, and then you emptied them out and you saved them where it needs to go to save the groceries. It's not hard. If you guys can't guess that, then then you're a then you're a oh uh, couillon. Save the clothes. Save the clothes. Save the groceries. Save the. And it doesn't mean the obvious. Doesn't mean sa- literally no. save them. No. Yeah, well, it does. Kind of, but not really. It's got another sort of meaning. Uh, save. Them. If I say I'll oh, save the groceries, yeah. Leave nice. them. Leave them. Leave them there, I'll sort them out. No. Save the groceries. Put no. them away. Okay, save the save the food. Save the food? Would no. that be one? Oh, yeah, you could save, save the food. Save the food. Uh, put it away. Yeah. You're joking. Yeah. You're so it joking. means to save yeah. something means to put it away wait. or put yeah. it where it goes. So if I said save the groceries... Wait, wait. Is that, is that an actual thing? Like, because growing up in Louisiana, we always did that. That's always what it was. When we said save something... It did. We never said put it away. We always said save it. Is that does that not mean like for those of you, my viewers who like aren't from Louisiana, who are like from other states or from different countries? Is that true? Do you guys actually not say save? You say put away. That's fascinating to me because we I've always said save, and we've always said save save the groceries or like you take something out. It's like when you take something out, save it. Or you save your whatever. It, we never said put away. We, we never really said put away. We always just said save. Man, that actually, that actually really, really fascinates me. How you just you just grow up knowing something all your life, and then you figure out no, that's completely wrong. Wow, that actually fascinates me. Because I'd be like put them away in the cupboards. Save the groceries. Save the groceries, yeah. Wait. Which I probably would say. Oh, someone like, said yeah. that to us when we were in their house in Louisiana. We'd just go, yeah, I'll save, put my money. Yeah, I'll be like, okay. Yeah. Save those for yourself. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's like when I went on a Spanish exchange when I was in school and yeah. I didn't speak a word of Spanish. I don't know why I was there. And the woman, <laughs> the mum of the house. Me to you or yeah, you to me? You to me. Okay. Uh, the next one is Shabebe. <laughs> yeah. Shabebe. It's not Shabebe. It's Shabebe. Oh, shabibi. That is like, that could mean, oh, poor poor thing, or like, oh, you poor thing. Oh, shabibi. Uh, usually in a, in a sarcastic way, like, oh, shabibi. Like, oh, poor baby. Or, it could also mean, like, oh, something's cute. 
like when someone's cute it's like oh it's uh, Kane said his first word oh shabby it's it means like oh that's that's cute or oh it's uh, so that's so cute or it's so cool or it's usually when like you're talking about children um and they do something like the first time to do some cute oh shabby I use uh, we also use it sarcastically a lot if um if someone has a problem that is not really that much of a problem like it's a minuscule problem or like oh shabby like we don't care <laughs> it's like oh it's your problem that's nothing figured out but a lot of times it's yeah oh he said his first word oh shabby yeah I probably sound like I'm speaking gibberish but yeah that's what that is I don't think it's spelled like that though but oh well Sha. oh Sha. no just Sha. okay so she knows Sha. did they say Sha? in anywhere else I thought that was a Louisiana thing. How does she know that? Okay. Aye, shabebe. This Shabbe is so weird. I don't know. Maybe like Shabbe it's a dance move, like shabebe. Shabebe, shabebe, shabebe with it. I want to get my shabebe on tonight. Not at all. Just sha is the word. Okay, sha. Sha. Well, I feel like in Jewish, I think sha means like stop. Like if someone's like sha, it's like sha. No. Like, wait, it's like yeah. Ugh. So maybe it's no, but they're not Jewish, are they? They're French. She's very yeah. entertaining. So that's random. That's just random. That's just taken out. No, I just think from Fiddler on the Roof during a song where they're like sha, sha. And it's like, what? What? Um, oh, that time I was in a musical. Yeah, that time I was a Shah. musical star. Uh, Shah. Shah. Shah means, That's so funny. I don't know, all I've got in my head now is just stop. 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 It doesn't mean stop. It means sweet or honey. Shabebe. Must yeah. mean like my sweet or my honey. Sweet but it derives from honey. the French word share. Share. Yeah. Share. Like more yeah. cherry. More cherry. Cherry. Is called, so are you cherry. calling a person sweet or honey? Or yeah. is it, uh, would you describe Shah. food as chat? Share. Derived from the French word share, but the word is chat, means sweet or honey. Uh -huh. So it must be about people. Yeah, it must be. Or, yeah, it must food be. is chat. Chat, baby. Or chat, no. baby. I can tell you, they're wrong. That's, that's not right. I might have been wrong about the goody goody, but this I'm not wrong about. Chat, baby, is, oh, like they did something cute. Oh, chat, baby. Or it could be like, oh, sweet, baby. I mean, I guess it could be like sweet, but... It's more like aw. Oh. It's more like aw, oh, aw, oh, baby. Or like aw, oh, it's cute. It's more of an aw oh, than a sweet. Leah. Imagine if you texted me like Shabebe. Yeah, what so we, funny. what time we meeting today? Wagwani and Shabebe. Shabebe. Listen, Shabebe, I didn't want to upset you. <laughs> You're my Shabebe. <laughs> That's so good. I might use that. Imagine Shabebe. if our podcast was called yeah. Shab. Okay. Uh, Shabebe. Okay. All right, this is the last one. Let's see. Last one is an obvious one. I think you're gonna get it. It is pronounced where. Eh. Where. 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 I believe where is like yeah. It's like where me where. Me where. Me whoa. Or we say me po. That's like when we say oh me po. He got book. That man got some buku. Hmm. Oh, my poor. He got some buku praline over there. People got some buku praline. Oh, my whoa. But, my way. It's like, you going to the you going to the club tonight? My way. It's like, yeah. Or like, duh. Me, oh, of course. It's like, my way. Of course. So, like, way. It's like, yeah. Of course. Kind of like a, yeah. Like an excited, yeah. Oh, we. Yes. Oui. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, we as oh, Brits yeah. doing French, we would say we oui for yes in French. Oh, yeah. But I guess I think the French say where. Yeah, they go ah oui. Ah oui. Where where I don't go we. Oui. We. Oui. Oh, no. you don't. You say where. No. I say ah oui. Oh no, you don't. I do when I'm in <laughs> France. I do. I was like ah where where Ah where 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 where. No, I ah, go we. Oui. There's this Merci really beaucoup. There's, there's this really funny scene <laughs> yeah. in Ocean yeah, Day. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. We don't say. Like, I don't think Bonjour means like, anything. Trying to in someone. Kate They're French. French. She's speaking in American, it might mean hello. American English, and she's in it like there's in a double. She's in a duo at the time, and then she just ran. I don't care. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then like it. Subscribe. It's free. I well before I do the outro. That's this is really fun. Um, there's a lot of things I. I knew, I absolutely knew, and then there's some things, like the first one, or 
not the first one. What's the first? I don't know, but like the Gritty Gritty, I had heard of it. I definitely heard of it. And like when they used it in the context, they said it, I knew it, I remembered it. But I would heard of it being used before, and I'd, I'd, I'd known of it, but I just wasn't, not off the top of my head, couldn't, couldn't guess it. But the rest of them, yeah, they're actually used a lot. The slang, the Louisiana slang. And like, I actually did not know that people didn't say save. They'd say, put away. That actually fascinates me. Like, t if, if put in the comments if you guys, if you guys say save or if you guys say put away. And also what state you're from. Because I don't want to, if you say save and you're actually from Louisiana. Which a lot of my viewers probably are from Louisiana. Because it's probably people that know me personally. But, like, if you're from a different state, put in the comments whether you say way or if you, um, not way, if you say put away or if you say save. Because I, we say save. We've always said save. In fact, I probably said save in one of my videos. And people were probably like, wait, what? What does he mean? Uh, like, have I said save in one of my videos and you guys were confused? Well, sorry. I, I always thought save and put away me the same thing. Uh, so, that was really fun. <laughs> but, sadly, this is the end of the episode, so I'll hope you liked it. If you liked it, then like it. Subscribe. It's free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, alligator.